Hello and welcome to episode five, I think, of Storytime. I have lovely Bruce here with me. Um, it's a very dreary gray day as we head into February of the global pandemic. Bruce has been feeling a little depressed lately. So we're trying to cheer him up by staying positive because I do think he is a very empathic dog and he's absorbing all of my depressed energy. <laughs> so today we're just going to jump right into it and we're going to talk about advice. Advice that I specifically didn't listen to as a young person from specifically my mom because she's the one who liked to impart her advice onto me. So how this honestly, this idea came to mind. Okay, first. this is honestly a good sign. This is the most energetic he's been in like three days. Good boy. This idea came to mind last night while I was eating dinner with Jeremy and he had made a delicious steak dinner and it had mushrooms and onions and mashed sweet potatoes. It was absolutely phenomenal. And I'm literally one of my last bites my crown, the back of my mouth, popped off, broke off, whatever you want to call it. And my mother's voice that has haunted me <laughs> for years just echoed in my mind about a certain tongue ring that I should not have gotten when I was 19 years old. So when I was 19, I was traveling. I went on exchange again. I've talked about it in a previous video. And I decided to just get all the body piercings that I'd never gotten before because I had no parental supervision. And so I did get a tongue ring while I was away. And when I got home, my mom informed me that that was a very poor decision solely based on the issue or possibility of breaking one of my teeth in my mouth on the tongue ring. And I thought this was a ridiculous assumption to make. And then I think it was maybe Two months later, while I was eating an apple, I bit quite hard into my tongue ring, broke my molar in the back of my mouth, had to get emergency dental surgery, which leads to another part of my mother's advice, which was not to get a credit card at 19 years old, because I really didn't have any reason to have a credit card at that point, except for when my molar broke and I had to pay for it. And that's when I realized the cost of dental work and so that yes it's the same molar that eventually had a crown put on it and then another one and now this i think is the third time that sucker has popped off and my mother's voice just you know in the back of my head constantly it's a really sad thing i feel the circle of life because when you're younger you just don't think your parents are smart or cool enough to give you advice that would be applicable to your life at that point. Their advice, in my opinion, at least my mom's when I was younger, always seemed really, you know, she's just saying stuff because I was her daughter. She's just saying stuff because she loved me or she's just saying stuff because she didn't, she couldn't understand. So she's just saying whatever. But in the matter of fact is our parents actually were teenagers at one time, young adults and now are older and have a lot of life experience to share. However, the sad reality is you don't accept or understand that until you're about my age i feel which is in my 30s and now i'm like oh shoot she was really just trying to like help me out damn it another piece of advice my mom gave me when i was younger was about getting my first pet and when we were kids we always wanted pets and my mom was really against it because we were very busy kids we played lots of sports she was a single mother and she knew how much work it was going to be and we begged and begged and begged and eventually we got a cat and then we, another cat they were stray cats that we just kind of secretly fed under our porch until my mom caved and let us keep them so when i was 27 i decided it was a good idea to quit my job break up with my long-term relationship move to a different city and then all of which my mother, you know, she didn't advise me against, but she kind of was holding her tongue because I knew kind of what she was thinking. And I jumped into a new relationship that was very unstable. And within about a year of being in that super unhealthy, unstable relationship, I decided I should get 
a dog with them. I didn't really consult my mother on this decision because I already knew that voice, what she was gonna say, but I went ahead and did it and with every good intention in my heart. However, you know, she was right. Animals are a lot of responsibility. They're a long-term commitment. And I was committing to an, a pet in a relationship where I, in my mind, thought we were gonna be forever. But, you know, also in my inexperience in relationships, there were so many reasons why that was really not, that was apparently not going to be the case. And so it ended up having to be one of the most sad, challenging, devastating periods of my 20s when I had to give up my dog because I couldn't undertake the responsibility alone when eventually my relationship dissolved and I had to take care of an animal in a new city when I was working full time. I just didn't have the resources to make a good life for my dog and I had to give him away. I gave him away to someone who really loved him and I know that he was much happier but that was a very you know real moment in life when I should have just listened to my mom definitely you know yeah one piece of advice that I think kind of maybe backfired a bit was that my mom always told me I should dress for the job that I want not the job that I have she would say that a lot when I was in my beginnings of my career. I started out as like a janitor and I cleaned hockey rinks and I painted fire hydrants. So I couldn't necessarily dress for whatever job I wanted and I also didn't know what I wanted at that time. But once I got into an office environment and stuff, I knew what she meant was that, you know, go to work, follow the dress code, step it up, be professional. But that advice actually kind of translated differently as I got older because I realized I wanted to work in a work environment where people had more open mind and were more accepting of different kinds of people. And so when I was, I think, 31 years old is when I got my knuckles tattooed. And that's a big no-no generally in most office environments, at least at that time. And I kind of I did it on purpose because I was like, I don't want to work in an office environment or a job in general where if I have knuckle tattoos, they don't they can't see past you know my skills my experience my expertise what i could bring to the the role so i ended up getting lots of tattoos and you know and i ended up still getting the job that i want i have a great job now i love it so much so i ended up showing up for work in a way for the job that i wanted which is what i have now which is where i can almost wear whatever i want i mean now we're all working from home so maybe i, I don't know <laughs> did i manifest that somehow in the theme of not listening to good advice in my 20s and making mistakes and learning the hard way, um, another piece of advice that I was given by my mother was to not rush into a new relationship because I need to spend time on my own. And I had a very bad track record of really not taking time for myself throughout most of my 20s. I did finally listen to that advice as I got into my 30s and it is a very good piece of advice but I mean what are you gonna do you can't you know people just gotta make their own mistakes I guess but she also said this make sure you have all your ducks in a row before you start worrying about meeting someone new that's what she sounds like and that's very true I think it's so important to have your ducks in a row as in my interpretation that you are financially stable you're not relying on someone i didn't made a lot of relationship decisions based on my financial situation based on like feeling lonely or needy or dependent and not because oh this person's a great person and we should share our life together because i can bring some great stuff to the table it was very much i need someone and that wasn't a good motivation for a healthy long-lasting relationship so got my ducks in a row finally and you know things worked out better so if you don't have your ducks in a row get your ducks in a row first before you worry about meeting someone new okay at the end of the day at a certain degree I do think our parents kind of live vicariously through us they're trying to impart all the wisdom that they've gained over their lifetime and then also prevent us from making mistakes to steer us in the right direction. But the reality is that everybody 
throughout their adolescence and young adulthood ends up wanting to be independent thinkers, make their own horrible decisions, and then have to face the consequences on their own. I don't know about all the parents out there now, how, you, how do you feel about this? You know, I don't have any kids to really practice this on, but a part of me likes to think that I would let them make their own mistakes and then help them, guide them through the consequences. But I also, there's a part of me that is gonna be like every other parent that's trying to just prevent those things from happening because you don't wanna see the kid get hurt. So please comment below. I want you to share with me below the best advice you've gotten from your parents and maybe the worst advice would be kind of funny to see both. And if you are a parent, how do you plan to navigate that? Do you plan to just keep your mouth shut? Or are you gonna be a parent that tells them when they're a teenager, don't worry, honey, when you get out of high school, none of this is gonna matter. The, the world is a much bigger place, blah, blah, blah. And your teenager is gonna look at you like you're such a loser. <laughs> Cause that's what I did. You don't understand mom. But you know, I don't remember anything from high school at this point. I really don't. It's, it's I blocked it all out and it doesn't matter. So there you go. She was right. Thank you so much for tuning in for this very short little story time. And if you haven't already yet, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and yeah, just share. I want to hear the advice. I think it's funny when I think back to the stuff that I was told and then looking back, I'm like, dang it. Why didn't I listen? Okay. Thanks so much. Have a great day and we'll see you guys in the next one.